Have you ever wondered how an air conditioner works? Well, believe it or not, there's only four working part, four main working parts in our, uh, an air conditioner, and I already told you how all of them work. It's using a process we call a cycle. Now, a cycle is just a collection of a few thermodynamic devices that create a circuit of one working fluid flowing around all four, all, all of the devices. So, in this refrigeration cycle, only has four parts that make it work. An evaporator, a compressor, a condenser, and an expansion valve. So the way it basically works is the evaporator starts off with like a cold liquid here from the condenser and the expansion valve and it takes in heat from the surroundings so that that, that cools it and that that then goes into the compressor which we need to put work in there to compress it so we can condense it and take that heat we took over there and just spit it out somewhere where we don't no that's a Q out somewhere where we don't need it or don't care that it's warming it up and then the expansion valve just you know expands it cools it down a little bit so we can get the evaporator to work at maximum efficiency and that's really all that you have to do um, that's all really what a cycle is now, you know how to work each individual cycle, I mean, each individual thermodynamic device. There's going to be, you know, it's going to be a little more, the scale is going to be a lot bigger than working on each individual one alone. But the way you solve a cycle problem is you just solve many smaller problems. See, this is just a state one and a state two with the compressor. That's just the first law of thermodynamics. So I mean it's to figure out this is going to be Q in plus you know the energy equation you know Keep on forgetting these dots. Those dots are important, showing that this is not just happening once, it's happening over a period of time. I mean, this should be very familiar to you by now. I mean, we've done this half a dozen times in the previous videos. And all we have to do is figure out, you know, two prop. All we have to do is figure out these two states so we can go on and figure out state between say 2 and say 3 to find Q out. So if we know work, if we know work, there's no Q, there's no heat transfer. We can just ignore that. This is almost always negligible. So we're just left with the the first law of thermodynamics equation for a compressor. And you do the same thing for a compressor, for the condenser, for the expansion valve. All you have to do is remember the, the rules and the things you can ignore. Just on a larger scale. And that really is all there is to do with, with cycles.